Hey, what's going on guys? Sudi here. Welcome back to the channel. As the only and best drama channel about the Hypixel Pit, we're going to be covering a situation which happened just this week. The infamous scammer Only Skelet lended many of his items to Prince Link, who then got banned for a year. About a month ago, I posted this video where I went over several scams, which included the situation where Only Skelet scammed Nils. If you don't want to watch that, all you have to know is that Skelet scammed tons of items from different people. He got banned a few months back for supposedly boosting on Skyblock, and only recently returned to the pit. With his return, he let Prince Link use pretty much his entire god set. Some of you may know Prince Link from my second video on Major Event, but if you don't, then here's his story. Link is an OG pit player who leveled up quite fast, boosted many people's accounts, and used his fair share of cheats. He actually got banned for a year in early 2019, around the same time as me, and returned to this game mode several months back. Despite having cheated in the past, Link actually went fully legit, and for good reason. If he got banned again, after already serving his 360 day ban, the next punishment would be a year at the minimum. Even though Link used to cheat, he was a very trusted player. Multiple people shared their accounts with him, and he never scammed a single person. This is part of the reason why Skelet trusted Link. To go into more detail, only Skelet moved to Skyblock after the ban of his main. When his ban expired, he let Prince Link use almost anything he wanted, and Link would give back items as Skelet needed. Since Link now had almost every mystic he could possibly need, he started to grind a lot. On the pit, grinding requires tons of kills, so what people tend to do is they build rings out of obsidian around the center in order to condense their potential victims. With this comes trolls. While recording this video on Uber streaks right here, Kalu and I were trying to Uber, but some random noms came along and were breaking our ring relentlessly. In the chat, they spammed hashtag pay for ring. A few days ago, Prince Link was streaking and a similar situation occurred. A random non joined the lobby and started mining Link's ring. Obviously annoyed, Link said in chat, I'll give you $5 PayPal to leave me alone. Here is a live recreation of that event. So I'm going to pay you $100 to fuck off. Alright, let's assess this situation. A player, who was justifiably banned for a year, returned with a clean slate and good reputation only to get banned again because of a joke? The currency of Pit is Pants Bundles, where each PB contains 10 fresh pants. The set lost was worth over a thousand PBs. That's literally insanity. If we take a look at Link's inventory, he has arguably the most expensive sword in the game, a ton of other god set items, and a gemmed Mega Longbow Sprint Drain. Hold up, why the hell would you gem a Sprint Drain if you can't have Sprint Drain 3? At this point, I don't even want to know, but let's get back on track. Prince Link was banned for supposedly attempting to obtain information or something of value from players. This is an issue I have with Hypixel. Their rules are so vague that half the time it doesn't even make sense. When looking at Hypixel.net slash rules, the only thing mentioning player information concerns sharing players personal info, in other words doxing, as well as stuff about keeping account details secure. Things are slightly more clear in the appeals guide, but I really don't like this. Keeping information about the rules in the place you go after already being punished is crazy to me. That's like arresting someone, sending them to jail, and then explaining why they did something wrong even though the law doesn't actually explicitly cover that section of conduct. What? According to Hypixel Admin, Hypixel Team Administrator Administrator, attempting to obtain information or something of value from players means that you are trying to get access to another user's account or otherwise obtain something from the user by illegitimate means. This includes asking for currency on any external site. Breaking this down, it's obvious that Link was not trying to get this non's account. He simply wanted to show his frustration by saying how he's hyperbolically willing to pay this guy money to be left alone. Now this clear joke got taken the wrong way and might fall under the second part of this clause. I use the word might loosely because it doesn't. Link was not trying to obtain anything from the other player. And if you took his words literally, it sounds like he's actually trying to give the guy something, not obtain anything. 
Anyway, Prince Link got banned, and he was obviously confused as to why. I talked to Ticha, who is a friend of Link's and has good staff connections. He told me about his conversation with the moderator. Ticha asked a mod about Link's situation and asked if there was anything that could be done to solve it. The moderator responded by saying that he had already talked to Link and the only thing he could do was appeal. I'm gonna start off by saying that the appeals process on Hypixel is complete shit. When an innocent player goes to appeal, it's quite likely they don't even know why they were banned. The same thing happened here. Prince Link went to appeal, not knowing why he was banned, because what he said shouldn't even warrant a ban. The appeal was obviously denied, because that's the only possible outcome unless you have staff connections. Calling BS, Link made a forum post explaining his situation, but it was instantly removed by staff. I swear, the Hypixel team can't take criticism unless it's from a person with a lot of Twitter followers who tags Simon directly. Link later asked a moderator for the evidence of his ban, at which point the mod responded by saying, Sorry, if your appeal was denied, you must wait out your sentence. So once your appeal is denied by a copy and pasted response, you have no choice but to accept the tyranny of the Hypixel staff team and wait it out. Nice system you have there Hypixel, very cool. I just don't understand the hypocrisy of the Hypixel staff team. We have people running around, literally witch hunting each other with the Behop accounts that have been boosted to a high enough level to use Dark Pants in order to extort innocent players into paying them to not get brutally murdered while trying to enjoy the game. Prince Link said, I'll give you $5 PayPal to get out of here. He wasn't trying to get information from the guy. Hell, had the guy taken his joke offer up, Link would have been the one giving the currency, not the other guy. After Link's appeal had been denied, Ticha again contacted the mod and asked him about it. The mod told Ticha, and I quote, It may have been portrayed as a joke to him, but as staff members, we don't know that. That being said, we issue punishments if someone breaks the server rules, regardless if they were joking or not. There's no rule saying you can't talk about real life money. The only thing close to that is the rule about IRL trading. And Link obviously wasn't banned for that, because he was banned for attempting to obtain personal information. Every day, players say way worse things and rarely get left with a mute. So why should this warrant a ban, and a one year ban no less? Not too long ago, a player went around calling people terrorists, and that player is now a helper. Prince Link thinks it's possible that someone paid off a mod to get him banned with all of Only Skelet stuff. There is no proof of this. However, I wouldn't put it past some of the toxic groups in this game mode who would do anything to see some people gone. The whole thing is so stupid. Take Only Skelet for example. He's been scamming, boosting, and cheating for years. Less than half a year ago, he boosted all the way to the max level on the pit. That should have worn, that should have gotten him a stat wipe. He finally got banned about 3 months ago, but it wasn't for cheating, and it wasn't for boosting either. Only Skelet got banned for trading pit items for Skyblock stuff. That's what finally got him banned. This server is a joke. Of the 26 people who have reached the max level for the pit, 3 have done it legit. That's right. Only three people have ever reached the top without hacking, boosting, duping, scamming, or account sharing. I swear, more people cheat in this game mode than the ones who don't. Prince Link was obviously in the cheater category when he was rightfully banned. It's just sad to see when someone has genuinely changed and learned from their mistakes, and then they just get dealt an unjust hand. I'm not really sure what I'm trying to accomplish with this video, other than maybe give Link another chance by letting his story be heard. Usually I end these types of videos off with a word of advice, such as use middlemen, don't download random files, don't share your account details, be careful who you trust, etc. This situation here, however, is so unjust that I don't even think there's much I can advise about it. I might say something along the lines of try not to get caught in the crosshairs of a mod having a bad day, but really there isn't much you can do about that. And anyway, we're trying to get someone unbanned. I guess my advice is don't joke about giving real life currencies no matter what the circumstances are because you could be one message away from a year ban. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy the content, consider subscribing to help me out. I have a lot of cool videos planned, so be sure to be on the lookout for those. I've been your host Sudi, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.